So along with the conclusion to the past arc in season 2, we also got quite a bit of news, both exciting and depressing. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So starting off with the depressing news first, Jujutsu Kaisen anime will be going on break for 3 weeks. Yes, you heard that correctly, there will be no new Jujutsu Kaisen anime content for 3 weeks because of the break. Well, technically one week of break, the other two weeks we will be getting recap episodes. The first recap episode will be covering season 1 and the second one will be covering the hidden inventory arc that just finished airing and the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie. The reason for this 3 week break isn't really specified but we can assume it's because we are moving into the Shibuya incident arc starting from the next episode and they are using this time to give the animators a bit more time to work on the upcoming episodes or maybe JJK is having production issues which I personally don't think is the case just because of how insanely good the quality of season 2 has been so far and production issues for the most part are easily spotable from the earlier episodes and these 5 episodes so far have been pretty much flawless. So I personally wouldn't worry about the anime at all but it still is kind of depressing to not have new content for 3 weeks. But maybe you can use this time to rewatch season 1 and the movie because moving forward it's going to be quite important to remember details from season 1 and the movie. And I don't think the recap episodes are gonna manage to show everything that you need a reminder on. And now moving on to some positive news, we have a teaser for the Shibuya incident arc, which was posted on the official Twitter account of JJK after episode 5 aired. And man, it's so crazy to think about that we're finally here. Even though the teaser doesn't really show anything, it's just some iconic panels from the arc pieced together, it still got me pretty hyped. And moving forward in these 3 weeks, we will probably get even more promotional material for the Shibuya incident, such as key visuals, character designs, and even an actual full-on trailer. So I'm way too excited for all of that. Also the Twitter post of the teaser will be linked in the description below if you want to check it out. And now moving on to the final piece of news we have for today, we are getting a new opening starting from episode 6 and it is by King Nu. The same artist for the ranking of the king's opening as well as the freaking JJK movie. And getting a new opening was something that I kind of expected but I wouldn't have been surprised if they kept the same song as the hidden inventory but changed the visuals to fit the Shibuya incident. But goddamn does it feel so good to be wrong and it's just so nice getting to see JJK getting treated right and having such a freaking great adaptation. They made one of the most visually stunning openings I've ever seen for just 5 episodes. And judging from the preview of the song we heard from King Gnu's official Twitter account, we will most likely have another freaking opening after episode 13. Because even though this song will most likely fit the beginning of the Shibuya incident arc, they definitely require a more darker opening for the second half. Also the preview for the song will also be linked in the description below if you want to check it out. But with all that being said though, please leave a like on the video if you found it helpful share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel because I'm planning to make quite a few JJK videos in these 3 weeks that you don't want to miss out on. Have a nice day and peace.